Northern Kentucky two-way week here, Walton Verona. The Bearcats, one of the more impressive storylines of 2012, and we're talking here with head coach Jeff Barthen. Coach, we'll start right there. You guys came out of it and turned out a, a terrific campaign in 2012. Obviously, you lost uh, some key members from this year's senior class, but you know, from your undergraduate players, what do you have to do to you know keep them motivated and not get satisfied with that, but to, to, in order to take that next step? Well, and I think that's one thing that we address with these guys that you know success. Uh, sometimes it's easier to be the hunter than the hunted. And I think that, uh, you know, I don't know that we're quite in the hunted uh, role just yet, but winning a district championship and things like that, our guys just can't get complacent. And our numbers have been solid this year in the offseason, and we expect to have a big summer with our full group. We've got a lot of guys playing other sports. Uh, but complacency is not something that we're going to stand for. Uh, I haven't recognized that in our attitude just yet. Our guys want to get better. Uh, they want to, you know, we uh, – we want to get past the region. We want to make it to uh, Bowling Green. We want to win state championships. So uh, our success has been has been positive, but it's not quite where we want to get to just yet. We we talked about it a little bit earlier in the off season at our award shows a little bit. You know the model programs for small schools, the Beachwoods, the New Cats. You, you know you guys are you know pretty young program here, but making great strides. Where do you feel like you're still just maybe a, a bit or a little bit further behind on where you want to get to? to complete that model well I think you know mindset you know where a new new cat they go into the season expecting to compete for a, for a state championship a Beachwood goes into the season expecting to compete for a state championship we're still in the mode uh, of you know you've got to taste it first and, and and we haven't quite tasted I think our kids expect to win um, but you know there's a difference in, in having that expectation of winning a state championship uh, and I expect our guys this year to, to take that uh, next step, and uh, you know we've taken a next step almost every year, uh, and making it to the region last year, and, and, and we got a bitter taste in our mouth. And we saw what what a state champion looks like, and and, and um, we we need to get there sooner than later. Coach, uh, not just on the field are some losses to graduation. Sounds like you're gonna uh, took a couple hits on the staff as well, uh, losing your defense coordinator Andy Schaefer, as well as offensive assistant coordinator John Woody McMillan. Obviously, it's never good to lose those guys, but you know, talk about you know what that means and, and what it's like for you as a coach to fill in those holes. Well, it's tough, and I think Coach McMillan will still be with the program. I mean, he basically moved up to the uh, food chain there as assistant athletic director, so he's still with us and still. Um, you know, he'll be with us in a different capacity. Uh, Coach Schaefer was tough to lose. We had a top five ranked defense in 2A the last two two seasons. And uh, so there's there's always some adjustments. Um, and, uh, you know, sometimes different isn't always worse, you know, but we lost two very good assistant coaches there. And, uh, you know, we expect to pick up some good assistants as well. And uh, the guys who are coming back are another year in the system, another year with the kids, and another year of, of knowing how we want to get things done here. So uh, it certainly will hurt us, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to move on um, uh, to bigger and better things with, with, the, with the groundwork that those guys have laid for us. Speaking of groundwork, what you guys did on the ground last year, quite impressive, uh, averaging almost 300 yards a game. I know the passing game's not quite where you want it to be, but it made some strides in 2012. Yeah, it has, and, and we worked on it quite a bit last year in the offseason. We're going to work on it more this offseason. We think to win a state championship for us, you know, we're not a Belfry uh, or, or some of those schools that, uh, you know, are ground and pound, ground and pound, ground. I think we need to be more diverse if, if we're really going to, to take that leap to state champion uh, mode. And Justin Klein got a lot of experience last year as a sophomore, uh, should be back as a junior this year, and uh, has a good arm. And uh, we're, we're really focusing more on the passing game this spring, and we'll focus on it again this summer. And, and hopefully it'll uh, it'll uh, bear some rewards in the in the uh, in the season as it comes up. It, it wasn't as good as we wanted it to be last year, but uh, you know you got to take steps, and I think we took a step in the right direction last year, and, and hopefully we'll take an even bigger step this year. Fill in the blank, coach. If blank goes right, we'll be better in 2013 than 2012. Well, if, if our passing game is better, we'll be better in 2013 than 2012. Um, you know, our schedule's going to be tougher this year, though, too, and I think that's one thing that we need to make sure. I think when we played NC last year, that's the first time we saw that type of speed. Um, we're playing Holmes this year. We're playing Lexington Christian. We're playing uh, – we're, we're back up against um, – Grand County, a bigger school, you know, so so we're trying to get our kids to where they don't see that type of caliber for the first time in the playoffs. So hopefully they see that caliber throughout the year and, and can adjust to the speed uh, of, of, of what it's going to take to be a state champion. It's a good formula. Newcath followed it last year with taking their lumps early against those teams and certainly paid off. So best of luck. That's head coach Jeff Barth.
Walton Verona, one of the teams to watch here in Northern Kentucky. 2A will be doing it all season long at TriStateFootball.com. Thanks.